yet another Elite Audio epic unboxing video. And I like to use the term epic because, to be honest, the products that we unbox are fairly epic, but this one kind of goes another level. So I'm going to refer to this as an epically epic unboxing video. And as you can see in my hands, ready to spring into action is our trusty slicer and dicer, the Stanley 99E which you will have seen featured in many of our previous unboxing videos. It's like my trusted friend when it comes to such an important task. And it doesn't get much more important than this, which is brand new from Manly Labs. It is the absolute headphone amplifier. This has been three years in development. And when you think that Manly Labs have got over 30 years experience, there is probably nobody better equipped to design or conceptualise, design and deliver everything that they promised they would. And I can tell you honestly, these are in such high demand with the press right now. This one here is earmarked to go to Shrajan at Six Moons. Uh, there's other two that have already gone out to other reviewers. And if you keep an eye on the press in the coming weeks, uh, you'll see these appearing. So without further ado, let us let the fun begin, as they say. You may have seen images of this online and I can tell you honestly, the pictures do not do it justice at all. It's one of the most aesthetically pleasing headphone amplifiers that you will ever see. And again, this is something if we see, just I'll just carefully uh, put this uh, down over there. Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I could have probably you, thrown that about 20 times and it would never yeah, do it. You couldn't do that again. That. No. That's good, okay. I must uh, go back to my, remind me of my days as a knife thrower in the circus uh, yeah. when I was a young lad. Let's, let's not practice in the office. Um, that's, that's, that's a good idea. We'll do that on a Friday. It's not a good idea. Why don't we try that? No, let's let's do, try that. That would be a great video feature. It would not because, be a great video. You know, Mark's knife throwing with the staff. Cool, brilliant. Health and safety would have yeah. no issue with that. So. Anyway, Grant wants to come over. As we can see, what I like is we've got a box within a box, and even the box within the box is protected by uh, polystyrene to ensure that in transit it's going to arrive in one piece. So I'm just going to, oh, Grant's here lending a hand, which is very kind of Grant, I would say. And in fact, I actually just realised, and I forgot there's little lifting handles on the side. Um, however, I saw it the last time, that was more than a day ago, so I'm more likely to forget. Uh, let's just prize this open here. I'm actually genuinely excited about showing you guys this. Now again, there is virtually no way that this can arrive to you in condition anything other than it left the factory. If you look at this packing in here, I mean, it's so well thought out. There's so many manufacturers, as you know, and it's one of my pet hates is they can build a great product, but then they don't think how they're actually gonna get it from A to B. And some of the packing is just horrific. This is the other end of the scale. And a company that shows that level of attention to detail is quite remarkable in this industry. So let us um, extract this from its box. But first, let's just take the beautiful owner's manual and you'll start to get a glimpse of just how stunning this actually looks. Um, and there, in fact, on the back, if Grant can see that's a little bit of reflection there, uh, you can see with a set of headphones sat neatly over the headphone amplifier itself. And it's not just a headphone amplifier, actually. This also is a fully blown uh, line stage pre-amplifier too. So you can easily integrate it into a system whereby you already have uh, an existing power amplifier that you wish to uh, use with a pre. And we've tested this on the preamp aspect of it. And it's really impressive. Um, Grant, maybe you can I think you are looking in there, aren't you, Grant, yes, already? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. Moment. You can get a certain idea of the scale here. I'll bring in our, uh, I'll go and rescue the trusty Stanley 99 from its uh, resting point that you saw earlier. And so just to give you an idea of scale, uh, Stanley Knife 99E by our good friends at Stanley. Other Stanley Knives are, of course, available, or Craft Knives, as they like to call them. Um, so again, I'll get rid of that. See, I told you, <laughs> I told you I can do it twice. <laughs> Right, this is coming out of the box now whether it wants to or not, and I'm just going to very carefully lift this and Grant can maybe extract... Ah, no, before we do that, hang on, I'll just lay this on the floor for a second. In the bottom here, you can see 
Now this, I have to say, for something that is handmade in California, we do not deal with any other American company who actually remember to put any UK mains plug. That in itself is impressive. I know you think, well, it should be anyway, but trust me, most even European manufacturers give us a shuko or an email, and you've probably seen me chucking them away. But with this, this can go nicely back. I'm actually almost disappointed. I kind of, I've kind of got, you know, used to sort of slinging things across the, the showroom. But anyway, let's put that back in there. And again, very cleverly, which they did, you'll see that it was face down in the, the packing, which means that the UK prongs, which I think were invented to destroy hi-fi equipment in transit, uh, are facing down the way where they can do no damage at all to this beautiful piece of equipment. We also have here the remote controls, very simple one, volume up and volume down. So we'll put that back in there again. So let us move this box over here for a second. And this is the part that we've all been waiting for. Feels a bit like Christmas. It's probably better than Christmas. Um, I might need to speak to Santa about getting one of these for myself. Well, for all the staff. Yeah. I'm sorry? For all the staff. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> um, as we quickly skim over Grant's request for a absolute <laughs> headphone amp in his, in his Christmas list. I'll bring this back up here. Wow. And let us just remove that. Again, you can see this unit is shipped with the valves already in situ. What I would recommend you do with anything that you receive like that is just check that the valves haven't worked their way loose in transit. They shouldn't really, these are small valves, they don't really have much mass, so therefore they can't exert too much inertia in transit to pull them out of their sockets. Um, I'll just bring this around to the side so Grant can, oops, so Grant can give you a side on view. I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. Um, I mean, solid billet engineering. You can see the Manly logo there is actually engraved on the top. And then down here we have all the various controls. Um, there's some great features on this actually. Grant can just sort of stay sort of close in here. You will see there's a control that says FB. Now, this is a variable feedback control. For those of you who don't know what variable, variable feedback is, essentially it's where the output signal is reintroduced back to the input signal. And what it does, it kind of creates a balance, so to speak. So for example, if you had a high, neg a high um, negative feedback, you, this would be good to give you a very taut and tight sound, for example, an orchestral piece. If you were listening, say, to female vocals, then you would have little or no uh, negative feedback, which would give a more natural and airy sound. You can also see we've got balance control. Um, this is great, I mean, there's many of us don't have perfect hearing and you can adjust it set up to 72 dB either way from uh, left to right. You'll see we've got bass and treble controls. Now, a lot of purists out there will be probably choking on their cornflakes uh, hearing that expression, but there is a button there where you can actually switch that off and it puts it into bypass mode so it has no direct uh, input or, or any direct influence on the, the signal itself. Um, I've used amps with uh, tone controls, Luxman, another brand, that they, they really uh, rate having uh, tone controls. And it can be very useful if you've got a recording that's maybe not as good as you would like or you want to boost the bass response or make the, the top end a little bit brighter and cleaner. These are actually invaluable. If we come to the rear, uh, oh, one thing to say actually, the, the transformers of these are actually uh, hand wound in California. Um, that may not sound like anything great, but they're, they're fully custom designed and they're air gapped. Uh, dual mode manly iron output transformers to give them their correct and patented name. Uh, the, it has an output tube stage, as you would probably see when we had it turned around with the valves visible. This is also switchable from a triode push pull to single ended. Uh, that will change the tonality in itself. Uh, the transformers are also switchable to accommodate the three range of output loads from uh, 12 to 600 ohms or greater, which means that you can get the exact loading that's going to match your headphones exactly. Uh, underneath here, we see the IEC socket. Now, this is a universal voltage device, so regardless of where you are in the world, it will work between 90 and 250 volts, 254 volts. Now, for the UK, that's quite important. 
A lot of people don't realise that in the UK, a lot of household voltages are well in excess of 240 volts. And that can put a lot of strain on a transformer, especially if it's perhaps uh, something that's only rated up to 220. It's worth checking your voltage, actually. Um, you can see, as we said, it's uh, line stage as well. So you've got two uh, line inputs there. You've also got your pre-outs here which will allow you to drive a power amp, as we said, or even a pair of active speakers, which would be quite a nice little setup. And we've got your two, uh, sorry, you've got your headphone input socket there, which again, you can see it's the standard uh, jack size. Um, there's not really much else to say. I love the, I love the, um, the bar walnut uh, wood finish, which is on the top and on the sides. You can clearly see this is designed for your, your headphones to sit uh, straight over the top there. I've got to tell you, I've had a listen to one of these and I compared it with, I'll not mention the name because we actually sell them here, but this is one of the best headphone amplifiers I have ever heard. And when you see the press reviews that are about to come out, you'll understand where that statement comes from. I think this is a statement piece from Manly Labs. It shows that they have got some of the best design concepts of all products. I mean, you can see behind us here, we've got a Manly Snapper and Jumbo Shrimp set up in the showroom, which I know is coming away from the unboxing, but this just sounds incredible. I love Manly Labs. I heard a Stingray amplifier about 20 odd years ago and it absolutely blew me away. And I've loved the brand ever since. Their design concepts are the best. And as we've said before in another uh, Manly video, they're very big in the pro studio markets and in the mastering market. So probably any piece of music you, that's in your collection will have been touched by Manly somewhere. And what better way to enjoy it than this absolute headphone amplifier. So there you go. Um, we have got a special offer we're going to be doing to tempt you into one of these, which Grant will pop up there. That's yeah. perfect. That's there. Right. Yeah. Just a bit lower. Yeah. There. Yeah. There. I did. That. There you go. It's now <laughs> sitting on my hand. It's, it's actually visible, but invisible to Grant at the moment, who will make it visible later. It's quite a special offer. You'll understand when you see it. And uh, whoops, don't drop it on the floor. <laughs> I, anyway, could, I could put anything on, on your hand there. Just so. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching this unboxing video. Please like our Facebook page. We have lots of uh, great announcements on Facebook. Um, we love interacting with you on there, uh, like our YouTube channel, there's tons of stuff there, we're always shooting videos, it's something that we love to do and sharing our own thoughts and views on these amazing components. So have a good day, thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.